Gaia and Ubuntu. I'm Dr. Michelle Merrill. This is part of the Nova Sutras Project. Today I'm taking a walk and talking to you about the long-term goals for the Nova Sutra movement. What is it that we really want to start doing? What do we want to accomplish once we have built a strong enough movement. There are several different pieces to this. Um, much like many of the large um, world religions, I see us being involved in charitable works, uh, particularly disaster recovery, but also poverty alleviation, and of course, planet healing, anything to do with improving our relationship to the living world, healing some of the damage that we've done. Of course, one of the most important things that Nova Sutra's devotees should participate in are actions that protect and defend Agaya and Ubuntu. So any time an ecosystem is under threat, anything that threatens to put more carbon in the atmosphere or more plastics in the ocean, we need to be counted and visible among those who are saying no, among those who are resisting, among those who are protecting and defending the rights of nature. I think one of the more important things that we should do as soon as we have the momentum, and in fact even a way to build momentum, is to be visible in any of these earth-defending actions and talk about how this is part of our religion, the defense of Agaya. We would like to see the Nova Sutras movement as the thing that people consider when they are looking for solace, it is very likely that we will be facing increasing frequency of climate-related disasters. Of course, there are always geologic disasters and the human response to some of the turmoil that we can expect in a changing climate uh, often will include some pretty horrible things done by humans to other humans. Nova Sutras will be a place to go to seek protection and alternatives to uh, find comfort in community. And of course, we would like to be some of the first responders, bringing not only the necessities to help humans survive and recover some of their basic needs after a disaster, but also to help people with their spiritual and psychological needs after a disaster. Not only individual counseling, but community celebration. Carolyn Casey talks about the festival culture and how these people can set up stages and communities and uh, taco trucks. Um, within mere hours of the suggestion that it's time to do that. If we can have that kind of rapid response team ready to go for the inevitable next crisis, wherever it is on the globe, and make sure that not only are we providing the basics that people need, but we are also providing music and 
joy and grieving when that's necessary, but in community and in a celebration of Agaya and Ubuntu. We want to be seen as a group that understands and cares and helps. When some disaster befalls an area, when things are destroyed, especially, you know, the material components of our civilization, not only do we go to help individuals meet their survival needs, help with the healing process through both comfort and joy, we should also be the loudest advocates for rebuilding in a way that is more in keeping with the Gaia and Ubuntu. If a hurricane or a flood or a wildfire has destroyed a community, it should not be rebuilt in the same old way. It should be rebuilt with the wisdom of what was learned from that disaster, but also with as much wisdom as we can about how we build and make things in keeping with the Gaia and Ubuntu. Naomi Klein talks about disaster capitalism. We want to be the antidote to that. In the shock doctrine, times of disaster make people cling to whatever comes to rescue them. Forces that do not hold the Gaia and Ubuntu in their hearts have learned how to exploit these times to push through their own agendas of domination, exploitation. We need to make sure that we're there, that we're offering a much better alternative, an alternative that doesn't have anything to do with domination, exploitation, extraction of resources, an alternative that has everything to do with Ubuntu and the Gaia. The Nova Sutras movement should also be very engaged with social justice movements movements that are working toward equality, economic fairness, expanding rights so that people's autonomy is respected. Nova Sutra's connection to social justice movements should be one where we focus especially on those movements that respect Agaya but certainly anywhere where we can see the movement as an expression of Ubuntu. Sometimes these are basic economic justice things, sharing things fairly. Uh, other times these are about respect for personal autonomy and decision-making. These are critical and they can't be ignored while we always look first and foremost to Agaya, respecting that divinity, that sacredness of every human life, has to be core to how we interact with the world. I also think that we can be more involved in education. This should be at all levels, everything from very early childhood education, maternal nutrition being even a part of that, um, all the way through to eventually launching our own universities. One of the things that I think is really important is this wedding of religion and science. So the university piece is really a key goal because we want to be able to offer essentially theological instruction while supporting scientific research in keeping with 
the core principles of Gaia and Ubuntu within the religion. The science would focus on things like healing the planet. We also want to make sure that we can preserve important aspects of scientific knowledge and culture in case of an ungraceful collapse of our civilization. While there are unquestionably many flaws with civilization as it currently acts, the things that it currently builds, the way that we currently behave toward one another, many things that are clearly not in keeping with the Gaia and Ubuntu. There are things that are worth saving. There is a lot of knowledge that is worth saving. There are some aspects of the culture that are beautiful and should be protected and defended as well. As a religion, again, we're in this unique place where we can be the guardians of those cultural and intellectual treasures. I think that this is going to be tied in with our educational mission, obviously, but something that Nova Sutras will do specifically um, to be prepared in case things do start to collapse in an ungrateful way. Well, all the time, all the time, working to try and encourage a more graceful collapse. Encourage a collapse that doesn't destroy what's beautiful, what's worth preserving for the next cycle of civilization. But be ready. History has shown that very often collapses of large civilizations are not graceful and many, many things can be lost. A strong religion can hold on to those things, even during those incredible moments of crisis. We must always remember that part of what defines the Nova Sutras community should be an attitude of not only reverence, but celebration. Even in the darkest of times, people need joy. So when we're involved in defensive actions against a major injustice, against something that threatens Ubuntu or Gaia, part of our response must also be to celebrate the beauty that still exists. Part of our response must also be to celebrate the joy of community. Singing and dancing are not just nice to add. They're essential to our survival as humans. They are how communities grow and strengthen and develop into something healthy and beautiful. So that beautiful, vibrant, joyous vitality is something that we need to try to cultivate anytime, anytime we can bring Nova Sutras communities together and especially in times of crisis. Carolyn Casey says we can't deal with any of these crises in isolation because they are crises of isolation. That's why it's so important that we come together, that we start to build communities that are serious about finding ways to protect, preserve, enhance, and grow Ubuntu and Agaya. So those are my thoughts about what the long-term intention of Nova Sutras is. If you want to help Nova Sutras to become the strong, wise, flexible, 
kind of religious community that I believe it could be, then I hope that you'll start spreading the word. That can be as simple as the usual YouTube routine of like, comment, share this video and other videos from the Nova Sutras movement. Get the word out on other social media platforms. Wear the Nova Sutras colors at events. Talk to people. That's the most important piece. I can't do it alone. Neither can you. None of us can. So, which Nova Sutras projects are you the most excited about? What do you think we should prioritize as we move forward with these long-term plans and hopes? Leave your choice in the comments below or take the survey. Uh, there's a link in the description. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and please, please, please share. Thank you for all that you do. Ubuntu and Agaya.